So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use ExpressVPN in China. ExpressVPN is one of the very few VPNs that still work in China, allowing you to access your accounts like Facebook, Gmail, WhatsApp, Instagram, and X. So if you're interested in using ExpressVPN to get around censorship and geoblocks while you're there, then you'll want to stick around. So connecting to a VPN is actually quite simple. All you're going to have to do is launch and connect to a server. Your internet traffic will immediately be secured with military grade encryption, as well as leak protection and a kill switch. None of your online activity will ever be logged, shared or sold to third parties. That said, there are a couple of very important things to keep in mind when using ExpressVPN in China. First of all, choosing the right cell provider matters a lot and is a big factor in whether or not your VPN functions over there. Now, China has three main cell providers, China Mobile, China Telecom, and China Unicom. These three cell providers manage server data differently, and while one might limit your VPN access, the others may not. At the time of recording this video, China Telecom and China Mobile worked perfectly fine for Express, while China Unicom was very difficult to work around. I also found it easier to access the ExpressVPN website using China Telecom, whereas with China Mobile, I had to use an alternate website link provided by ExpressVPN just to access the site and purchase the VPN. And so I generally recommend China Telecom for ExpressVPN, though I do recommend you contact their support team either on their website or through email to find out which cell provider works best during your visit. Besides that, if you're not already in China, it's best if you download and set up ExpressVPN before you trip there, as this would save you a lot of time and effort, and you won't need to worry about accessing their website while in China. Alright, now that I've gone over these key details, let me show you how to use ExpressVPN in three simple steps. First, you'll need to sign up for ExpressVPN, download and install their VPN on your device, whether it's a smartphone, laptop or tablet. The next step is to run the ExpressVPN app and connect to a server outside of China. You can choose from over 3000 servers in 105 countries. And the third step is to browse the web and enjoy a secure network with no geoblocks or censorship. Now at this point, you may be wondering, how does ExpressVPN work in China? Well, to keep your data protected from third parties, ExpressVPN uses military-grade encryption and an automatic kill switch like I mentioned. The 256-bit encryption disguises your internet traffic, making it unreadable to third parties. So anyone trying to view your activity will be unable to decipher what you've been doing or where you're located. And to guarantee your data is never compromised, the network lock automatic kill switch disconnects your internet the moment your VPN connection becomes unstable. Now, it's important to note that ExpressVPN has no physical servers or even a presence in China. This is in line with the company's strict no logs policy, which ensures that none of your browsing history or personally identifiable data is tracked, monitored, or stored. And this was even proven during an investigation in Turkey when an ExpressVPN server was physically seized by the authorities, but no user data was found. Something to keep in mind is that while China fights VPNs by technologically blocking the services and not chasing after the foreigners who use them, they're still not government approved and therefore it's important to be extra cautious while using them. Although so far there have been no public cases of foreigners being penalized for using a VPN in China. Also, something else to note is that the protection of a VPN doesn't give you a license to download copyright protected content and other similar acts, so it's a good idea to be aware of what's legally acceptable in your area. Now, in case you're having trouble connecting to ExpressVPN from China, here are four suggestions you can try to troubleshoot the issue. So the first thing that you can try is setting your VPN protocol to automatic. Basically how this works is that Express has different protocols for different activities. Like let's say you're trying to transfer data, there's a protocol for that. So you want to make sure that the VPN is on the correct protocol settings. And in order to adjust your protocols, you're going to go ahead and open the options menu and go into the protocol settings. Now you want to make sure that the protocol is set to automatic as this lets Express find the best protocol for connecting from China. The second thing you can try is to simply wait for ExpressVPN to complete the connection request. Let's say that ExpressVPN is taking a long time to connect. 
While it would be natural to retry right away, I would recommend waiting it out. Your connection could take up to 30 seconds to complete, so only retry the connection if the app tells you that it has failed, and then if the connection continues to fail, I would exit the app and restart your device before trying to connect again. I would say it's particularly important to wait and see if it's just your regular internet connection that's slow, as this could be the reason for a delayed VPN connection. The third thing you can try is to clear your browser cache. I found that websites will often block a VPN IP address if it receives too many requests. But a website can also block your cookies if you keep trying to connect to your account from different servers. To fix this, go to your browser settings and clear your cache and cookies. This removes the block so that you can access the site. Plus, clearing your cache can help get around content blocks since cookies sometimes store your location data. For example, if a website sees a conflict between the location data in your cookies and the VPN IP address, it may refuse access. So deleting cookies removes that location data so the website only sees the VPN IP address, enabling access. The fourth thing that you can try is connecting to a different server. I actually contacted ExpressVPN over 24-7 live chat to ask for a list of recommended servers for China, and they supplied me with four of their best server suggestions. And if all else fails, you can always contact customer support. Now, while ExpressVPN has a live chat feature on the website, it might not be accessible from China if you're using China Mobile, like we mentioned earlier. Fortunately, email support is always available, and if you have any troubles with email, I suggest Yahoo Mail as it has a working email service in China, and the ExpressVPN customer support team will send you a response pretty quickly. I contacted customer support by email and received a response within 24 hours. Just make sure you take note of the customer support email address in case you can't access the website. I've put a link to the customer support email address in the description below. Now, I'll go over some of the questions we get asked the most about VPNs in China. The most common question we get is, why do you need a VPN in China? Well, it's a great question, and the answer is that the Chinese government heavily censors the internet by using a combination of laws, technology, and regulations controlling what its citizens and visitors can access. And since many of the popular sites that we all use are blocked from the public, it can be hard to stay in touch with colleagues, friends, and family. So using a VPN, you can access all the sites and apps that would otherwise be restricted. Another question we get asked frequently is, can you use a free VPN in China? So while a free VPN may sound tempting, I've yet to find any that work in China while maintaining their no logs policies. And this includes the likes of Windscribe, TunnelBear, and Proton, which are free options I would recommend normally whenever I'm asked for free options. I also recommend you take caution when offered free VPN services in China whether it's by your hotel or tour guide, because these are usually government-approved VPNs, which means that they adhere to China's data retention laws, as in they'll log your activity and share it with the government. Now, in case you're not into ExpressVPN that much and would like an alternative that's even more budget-friendly, I've found Surfshark to be a very good option in China, and while it is slightly slower than Express and only accessible using China Telecom at the time of this recording, Surfshark has a couple of features that work really well in censorship-heavy countries, which are rotating IP and no borders mode. Rotating IP basically refreshes your IP address, as the name implies, at set intervals, making your activity even more anonymous, while no borders mode automatically switches on when it senses any restrictions on your network, and then gives you a list of obfuscated servers to connect to, and so, the combination of both these features makes Surfshark a great option for privacy and anonymity in China. Besides that, Surfshark allows you to secure an unlimited number of devices with one subscription, so you can basically share it around with your friends and family members as much as you'd like. And so, ExpressVPN and Surfshark are the two best options for China, and they even come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can get your money back if you don't like the service. I tried this myself and got my money back within 5 days. All you have to do is submit a customer support request and you get a refund within a few days. And for the last question, is ExpressVPN legal in China? So to be honest, none of the leading VPNs in 2025 are legal in China, including Express. Back in 2018, the Chinese Ministry of Industry and Information Technology banned the personal use of any VPN that won't log or store user data. 
They have government approved VPNs that are legal, but these must comply with China's regulations and provide access to all logged in user data on request. ExpressVPN has no service in China and is based in the British Virgin Islands, so it's not a Chinese company, nor is it within China's jurisdiction, and using a non-approved VPN can result in a fine or even prison time if you're caught by the authorities. However, it's equally important to note that many Chinese residents and tourists use non-approved VPNs every day to access blocked sites and services, and while I don't condone participating in illegal activities, there have been no public cases of foreigners getting into trouble for using a VPN to date. So that's about all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you figure out how to stay connected in China. If you're interested in trying out ExpressVPN, I'll put a link down in the description below with a special discount code. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to hit like if you found this review helpful, and subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date on the latest VPNs. Thanks again for watching.